What's up, guys? This is Jeff, and uh, we're going to look at a new process on how to update from Cody 16 to Cody 17. Uh, obviously, this is using uh, one of the builds in the Harley Quinn wizard. Um, there were some changes last week uh, that Cody pushed out some new Python code that uh, basically if you did a fresh start with the old wizard would uh, completely lock your system up. Um, so this is this is some changes that uh, I've done to compensate for that basically. All right, so we're inside of Cody 16 and we're gonna go to the update build area and drop down below to the Harley Quinn wizard. <clears throat> uh, I am only doing 17 updates uh, from here on out. So if you're running 16, you do need to update to 17. Uh, we're going to go into the build menu. Um, I have put a Cody uh, 16 wizard fix in here. Um, these are going to be obviously the November updates. The adult and the family uh, only working on Cody 17. It uh, doesn't matter if it's 17.1, 17.3, 17.5. I probably need to change the icon. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and click the wizard. And do you want to do this from a fresh start? No, absolutely not. Not at this point. You cannot do a fresh start. It will completely lock your system up. So we're going to say no. Grab a beer. Uh, this is going to be a pretty quick one because the only thing that we're actually loading onto your system is the new wizard. That's it. So we're going to say OK. And we're going to force close. All right. And then from here, so this is just going over the top. The only thing that's changing for the most part is the wizard um, and the skin. It's going to take the skin away, but not a big deal. Um, okay, so from here, we are going to go to programs and program add ons. And we're going to change it to icon. And we're going to go to the Harley Quinn wizard. Uh, FP, uh, me sending messages. Uh, uh, FP, all right, we'll say yes to that. <clears throat> We're gonna think for a second here. See in the lower right hand corner, it's working. We're gonna let it do its thing. Okay, so again, we're going into the Harley Quinn Wizard. You will notice for this one purpose, I have changed the coloring of the wizard letters to yellow. Uh, this is basically just so you know. Yeah, you can say what, whatever. Um, this is just so you know that you have the corrected wizard on there. As soon as you do the new update, uh, it'll go back to the way it normally looked for your system. Um, if you don't see the yellow letters on there, uh, go ahead and go into the maintenance menu and just do clear cache. Say yes, okay, clear packages. Of course, it's gonna update everything now while I'm doing the damn video. All right, clear packages, say yes, okay, clear thumbnails, yes. I uh, just cancel here, you don't have to. Anyway, by doing those, those couple things, just in case, Gonna have to rebuild all the pictures um, just in case you didn't have the yellow writing uh, we do need to make sure yellow writing like I said is just verify you have the new corrected wizard all right so now we're gonna go back into the build menu um, and it really doesn't matter which one of the three of these you pick at this point would you like to run a fresh start yes this time we are gonna say yes would you like to save your login data um, we're going to say no for right now. Um, I'm going to do a video a little bit later on some of this. Would you like to restore your Cody configuration to default settings? Basically, this is asking permission to do the fresh start. Yes. Um, because it already has the skin, uh, basically the blue bubble backdrop, it doesn't need to change it. If it does not have the skin, it would ask to change 
the skin or to switch skins and you would say yes. So right now it is deleting every file or every add-on with the exception of the Harley Quinn wizard. <clears throat> uh, do you wanna, we're gonna force close it. All right, and now we're gonna launch application again and now we're gonna go ahead and update. Uh, we're gonna hang out for a second here just to see if you can remind me later. Like I said, I'm just gonna hang out for just a second just to make sure it doesn't do any updating. There we go, that's what I was looking for. All right, so we're gonna go into programs. Yeah, I know that's what we're working on. And we're gonna go to program add-ons and Harley Quinn wizard. And then again, you still see it's yellow, so we're good. And we already did a fresh start and it's working, so we should be okay. Uh, I honestly don't know if the new code affected 16 or not, but just to be sure, uh, we're going through this way. So anyway, so we're gonna go to Android app installer. And we're going to, at this point, install Cody 17.5. It is actually the latest, would you like to install? Yes. It is actually the latest Cody. It's actually 17.5.1, um, but I didn't see any sense in putting all that information on there. 17.5, there was a little bit of an issue, so they immediately, like, I think within a day, put out 17.5.1 which is the most stable version of Cody available right now. And we don't care, all we care, we're gonna go to the bottom and we're gonna click install. The little Android dude is installing it for us. I'm gonna hit done at this point. But basically, okay, so now we can see we have 17.5 loaded on there and we're gonna launch. <clears throat> All right, and again, we're gonna hang out for just a second, remind me later, and hopefully we're gonna let it do these pythons that they're installing right now are the ones that screwed up the wizard. So like I said, I, I'm not 100% sure. I, I honestly haven't tried just uh, doing a fresh start on Cody 16, but uh, just to verify that everybody's safe, I prefer you just follow the video, do it this way. So anyway, we're gonna go down to add-ons, Harley Quinn wizard. All right, and we're gonna go to the build menu. And since we now have Cody 17 installed, we are going to install a 17 build. Uh, do we wanna do a fresh start? No, we don't because we just did one. There's no reason to do it again. And I'm gonna let this process play out um, even though it's boring and I really don't have anything else to tell you guys, um, but we're gonna let it play out just so uh, Everybody can see the final product and verify that she works 100%. And since I really don't like editing videos, I'm not going to edit. So if you want, you're more than welcome to skip ahead. So, and just so you guys know what I'm working on, I am actually working on the new uh, Amazon Fire TV 3. Um, this, in my opinion, was never meant to be a replacement for the Amazon Fire TV second generation, uh, the one that has a uh, USB port and micro SD card and uh, an Ethernet port that you can plug in direct. Uh, this is just, in my opinion, an upgraded Amazon Fire Stick. Um, 
you know, you still have to be Wi-Fi. Um, the biggest benefit is that it is it is uh, 4K capable. So if you're using, you know, Netflix or Amazon videos or whatever that uh, is capable of doing 4K, um, you can do 4K um, on this new device. Uh, not a huge deal, but I've actually done some playing around with it. And the Amazon Fire Sticks, even though inside of Cody you play 4K content, uh, the Fire Sticks don't play it well at all. It, I mean, it buffers every few seconds. So I'm going to look into that a little bit later, and I may do a video on that a little bit later. So anyway, you can see the speed's pretty good. Um, it's almost uh, 4 megs a second. Um, so... It's quite a bit faster, even though it's it's technically uh, the same software on the internet. Um, it is actually quite a bit faster internet-wise. The Amazon Fire TV3 processor is a little bit faster. Um, it's actually got two gigabytes of RAM. Uh, still has eight gigabytes of uh, onboard memory. So we're going to let it play out here. All right, I guess I'm going to shut up now. We'll let it play. All right, we're getting pretty close to the end here. Um, I did want to mention, if you guys get an error uh, during this process, uh, just hit continue. Uh, generally speaking, you'll be okay. Sometimes it does sense an error when loading a picture file or something like that. So if you get an error, uh, just uh, go ahead and continue and hopefully you should be okay. All right, cool. So we're done. We're going to say okay.
and then we're going to tell it to force close. All right, uh, I'm going to tell you something here real quick. So when updating from Cody 16 to Cody 17, if you just launch it at this point, uh, there is a huge chance that you will get a black screen with a power icon on the bottom and the favorites menu, the little star icon on the bottom. If that happens, you can just unplug it from power and then plug it back in and you should be fine. But usually if you go down here at this point and hit clear cache, uh, clash, cash will go to zero and then launch it. You won't get that black screen. What happens is it's still looking at the cash from the Cody 16. Um, so it doesn't know how to deal with it on Cody 17. So if you just hit clear cash there, usually you'll be okay. All right. We're looking good. All right, so uh, one more thing I'm going to tell you. You are going to get a message here in a second, uh, not one that I send, but you'll get that one too, uh, about FTG maintenance. Uh, FTG maintenance is the automatic maintenance system, uh, for those of you that may not know. Um, and it is meant to just, yes. Okay, remind me later. So there, there's the message. It's meant to keep all the unused um, files off your Kodi system. So just always say yes when you see this FTG maintenance question. Cool. All right. That's it, guys. Uh, hopefully that was quick and easy. Hopefully everybody will have 100% success. If not, 